Hello and welcome to Ideal Speak. Today we are going to uh, learn English with a very popular movie. The movie name is Fight Club. Uh, it's quite an old movie. It was produced uh, almost in the early 90s. Uh, this movie uh, is about uh, a guy. is about a guy who uh, is lost, who has lost himself in the. Uh, consumerist culture. Uh, he cannot tolerate this uh, consumerist culture uh, and uh, cannot uh, adapt himself to uh, living like this. So he decides to uh, establish a club, a fight club, uh, where people can join and uh, like uh, free themselves, free themselves uh, from the consumerist culture and uh, start to live the life they always dreamed about. Now we are going to watch a very interesting scene of the movie uh, in which uh, the main character, Tyler, uh, is uh, in the plane uh, talking about the emergency exit. Uh, he is uh, talking about uh, things that uh, people in the plane need to do uh, when the aircraft crashes or uh, faces an emergency situation. So this is the question uh, you need to try to answer. According to Tyler, why people uh, in the aircraft uh, need to put on oxygen masks in emergency situations? Option A, in case of emergency, oxygen uh, can uh, keep people alive. Option B, oxygen uh, can uh, make people high and uh, help them accept their fate, accept their death more easily? Uh, please uh, watch the scene and try to answer the question. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, yeah. and feel you would be unable or unwilling to perform the duties listed on the safety card, please ask a flight attendant to reseat you. It's a lot of responsibility. Want to switch seats? No, I'm not sure I'm the man for that particular job. An exit door procedure at 30,000 feet. Mm-hmm. Illusion of safety. Yeah, I guess so. You know why they put oxygen masks on planes? So you can breathe. Oxygen gets you high. In a catastrophic emergency, you're taking giant panic breaths. Suddenly you become euphoric, docile. You accept your fate. It's all right here. Emergency water landing, 600 miles an hour. Blank faces, calm as Hindu cows. That's, um, that's an interesting theory. If you listened carefully, uh, you heard Tyler say that uh, oxygen masks uh, are in the airplane uh, to get the passengers high uh, and uh, help them accept their death more easily. Uh, so oxygen masks in the airplane are not there to uh, help the passengers survive. They are there to help them accept their fates, accept their death more easily. In the next scene, uh, Tyler uh, is in the bathroom. Uh, saying that he would like to fight against his dad. Uh, he would like to somehow uh, fight against his dad and like eliminate him. Uh, so please watch the scene and try to understand why Tyler uh, wants to fight against his dad. Option A, uh, because his dad didn't uh, help him with money when he needed that. Option B, uh, because his dad ruined his life by uh, asking him to live a normal and ordinary life, not the life that he really wanted. And option C, because his dad uh, uh, treated him badly when he was a child. Please watch the scene and try to pick up the correct answer. If you could fight anyone, who would you fight? Fight my boss, probably. Really? Yeah, why? Who'd you fight? Fight my dad. I don't know my dad. I mean, I know him, but he left when I was like six years old, married this other woman, had some other kids. 
And he like did this every six years. He goes to a new city and starts a new family. Fuck, you're shutting up franchises. My dad never went to college. So it's real important that I go. That sounds familiar. So I graduate, I call him up long distance. I said, Dad, now what? He says, get a job. Same here. Now I'm 25. Make my yearly call again. I say, Dad, now what? He says, I don't know. Get married. I mean, you can't get married. I'm a 30 year old boy. We're a generation of men raised by women. I'm wondering if another woman is really the answer we need. We heard Tyler say that uh, his dad didn't go to college, so it was very important for him that Tyler go. Therefore, uh, his dad sent Tyler to uh, college, and after he graduated from college, he called his dad uh, to ask him uh, for the next steps that uh, Tyler uh, should take in his life. Uh, then his dad uh, told him to go get a job. Then he uh, went and found a job. Uh, after that, he uh, made his yearly phone call uh, to his dad uh, to uh, ask him for advice about the next step. Then his dad told him uh, that uh, he should go get married. That's why he is uh, so uh, angry at his dad. He thinks that uh, his dad ruined his life uh, by asking him uh, to live uh, an ordinary and boring life, not the life that he really wanted to have. In the next scene, we are going to uh, see Tyler uh, talking to the members of the Fight Club uh, about the uh, culture uh, and uh, people of his generation. He is uh, complaining to the members of the Fight Club about some important issues. Uh, it's your job to find out uh, which issues they are, which issues he's complaining about. So that's the question. What is uh, Tyler complaining about? Option A. Uh, he is uh, complaining uh, that uh, people of his generation and he uh, were born uh, in a very bad time of the history. Option B. Uh, he is uh, criticizing the consumerist culture and uh, uh, blaming uh, people of his generation uh, for having taken the consumer culture as granted. And option C, he is uh, complaining about uh, both the option A and B. Uh, please watch the scene and answer this question. Man, I see in Fight Club the strongest and smartest men who've ever lived. I see all this potential, and I see it squandered. God damn it, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. We're the middle children of history, man. No purpose or place. We have no great war, no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars, but we won't. We're slowly learning that fact. We're very, very pissed off. So I hope uh, you heard Tyler saying to the members of uh, the Fight Club that uh, he and people of his generation uh, were born in a very bad time of the history as uh, they didn't have uh, any great war to fight. Uh, or they didn't suffer from any depression. And all they had uh, was uh, the consumerist culture uh, that forced them to work the jobs they hated in order to buy the things they didn't need. Therefore, uh, Tyler was complaining about both the option A and B. In the next scene, 
we are going to see uh, the narrator of this movie uh, talking to his boss. Uh, he is very angry and uh, trying to threaten his boss. You need to answer this question. What is his request of his boss? Option A. Uh, he asks his boss to keep him uh, on the payroll, although he doesn't come to the office and work. Option B. Uh, he's asking his boss to allow him to have a long vacation uh, so that uh, he can uh, get away from it all. And option C, he is asking his boss to agree with uh, his resignation. Please uh, watch this scene and uh, answer the question. Okay. Where to begin? With your constant absenteeism? With your unpresentable appearance? You're up for a review. I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. What? Let's pretend. You're the Department of Transportation, okay? Someone informs you that this company installs front seat mounting brackets that never pass collision tests brake linings that fail after a thousand miles, and fuel injectors that explode and burn people alive. What then? Are you threatening me? No. Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. I have a better solution. You keep me on the payroll as an outside consultant, and in exchange for my salary, my job will be never to tell people these things that I know. I don't even have to come into the office. I can do this job from home. Who, who the fuck do you think you are, you crazy little shit? Security? I am Jack's smirking revenge. As you heard, uh, he was trying to uh, blackmail his boss uh, in return for his boss uh, keeping him on payroll uh, in other words uh, paying him a salary every month even though uh, he doesn't work or come to the office that's all for uh, this episode of uh, learning english with ideal speak if you liked our video uh, don't forget to hit the like button uh, and uh, if you don't want to miss any of our next videos please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell down below uh, take care and see you next time